ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for taking the time to watch my youtube channel today uh this is abraham to say at the in my video today i want to talk about muslim ce who compares christ's resurrection to bread uh stalin bank Mo i mean muslim ceo compares the resurrection of jesus christ to a piece of bread now we have so many brands and companies that you know celebrated the resurrection of jesus christ and they gave their messages out to you know to wish christians happy resurrection now one of the banks Stalin Bank compares the resurrection of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ to a piece of bread, a gege bread. I believe it is very insultive and it is very wrong. And to Christians, the resurrection of Christ, it means a lot to us. You can't just say that garbage out of your mouth. And guess what? The man is a Muslim because the Muslims do not believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that is why he, he, he tries to ridicule the resurrection of Christ because they do not believe in that. If it were to be a Christian that published or that published search a message to Muslims, you will see burning, rioting, all over the places. I don't know how many Stalin banks they would have, you know, burnt because of that message. You know, uh, how many lives would have been taken because of that message? Because Muslims are violent when it comes to attacking them. In Sweden, just in this period of their Ramadan, you see the riot all over. You know how many, how many cars. Uh, have been burned, rioting in different cities in Sweden because of someone, some people that want to burn the Quran. So, I believe that it is very wrong, even though they have published an apology article. And the apology article is kind of stupid. It's very stupid because in their apology, they made, it's a he that is without sin should first cast first stone. That is stupid. That it does not work together. It shows that you are still adamant and you are still, you know, uh, you, you are still standing on the fact that you are right to publish that such a idiotic and stupid message. So as a Christian, I'm very angry. And I, I believe that such a man should be relieved from his position because he can christians will not do that without lives and properties being destroyed and that is to show you that christians are peaceful people so let me share with you some uh, thoughts about the resurrection of jesus christ because if if christ be not risen according to first corinthians chapter 15 verse 14 if christ be not risen then is our preaching vain and your faith is also in vain. Now, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, it authenticates the message because if there is no resurrection, we have no message to preach. And also, our faith, our faith is in vain. It shows that Christianity is fake if there is no resurrection of Jesus Christ. And also, in verse 17, the Bible says, If Christ be not raised, your faith is in vain, ye are yet in your sins so it shows that we are yet in our sins so that is what resurrection means our preaching i mean resurrection authenticates the message that we preach resurrection it shows that we have real deal resurrections it explains that our sins have been washed away because of jesus christ so that is what i want to say about this man now can I say the man should be sacked in their letter and i think the man should uh should be relieved temporarily from his service for his work as a punishment for such a a very derogatory message 
and thank you so much for watching my channel the lord bless you